So we're going to print this up here. So if we look on page 164, we're going to print a blank line. And then we're going to print here. And this is going to be format. Let's check out. Let's put this over here. What was our format one? Here it is. this right here so we're gonna want a space right so we're gonna do space times five and then Let's just do six. And then the comma is going to add another space. So then we'll do space. And then value. And then print. And this here is going to be dash. It doesn't look too code doesn't look too ugly we'll put dash that that that'll be our dash and then we'll put dash times it's like 15 let's try it foot val two All right, five years. Well, not bad, not too bad. We're gonna want about four more of those dashed lines. Let's do 19. And then so here we're gonna print, we're gonna actually print Well, they got it at zero. So let's start at zero. This is going to be years. Let's just print A because I want to see, I want to make sure that. Food value two. So first it's a thousand, then it's second. So zero, one, two, three. So it's gonna be four years. So we need zero, one, two, three, four. So zero, so we need if it's four years to combat, we need five values, right? Zero, one, two, three. So we need a big jump. There's plus one. And here's plus two. It doesn't say how many years on this, on the book, 164. It's kind of tricky. I don't know if I'm going to put year zero. Someone can hopefully correct me in the... But uh, I think that my brain is going to uh, 
Let's run this. Three years. Okay, there we go. Sweet. All right. Zero, one, two, three. There it is. What do we need? We need to fix these in terms of the floats. We obviously need to fix the spacing. Okay. So, good start. So, we're going to print the year. So, we're going to print space times two, comma, year, comma, space. I'm just looking at 164, like what it's approximately supposed to look like. Space times looks like what? Five? Plus the plus the comma space and then dollar sign plus right plus and then this is going to be a the string version of a but we have to fix the formatting right. So the formatting is going to be I think it's colon So here it's going to be 10.6f We could do that. It's going to be tricky. We could do I think point six F is like the float. So that ten so dot format X, so dot format A. Dot format A. So we could do quotes. Right, and then colon eight point two, right, with the curly braces. Um, F, I think. Let's look back. Well, this is gonna work. Let's try it. We might have little errors here because this is supposed to be maybe a string. I think maybe a string. You know what? Before I do this, I'm gonna. I'm almost positive this is gonna be a mistake. I'm gonna do string A. And I got one, two parentheses, left three parentheses. Okay, this should work. Maybe. Not positive. About two. Four years. Oh, no. Oh. I guess I don't need the string on this one, huh? Because okay. it's it's already a number. So we're telling it it's a float. So yeah, that's gonna be the formatting tells us that it's gonna be a float. I think this is saying it's gonna be a string, a stringed out version of this float. So this float doesn't need to be changed to string. Okay, I'm learning. A little bit slow. I have flashes of flashes of good stuff. Um alright, so future value two or foot val two dot pi. Alright, let's run it. 
to a thousand point oh nine five years one time. Boom! Are we making moves? This is clean. I know. I'm clearly showing my rookiness with my excitement. Okay, so let's let's back off a little bit. Let's let's only have like Let's delete two of those spaces, then we can maybe delete one of those spaces, and it should be good. Um, just to start with, I know we can put variables in here, like depending on how many dec how many digits this number has. You know, well, let's try that. that. That might be actually kind of fun. So, so it's gonna be space. Um, we'll do length of uh, principal. All right, let's try that. Let's try to do some of that stuff. And then that's going to be the length of the principal, you know, times four. I don't know if it'll work. It should work. I mean, it should be decent. I think it should be pretty clean, open. I don't know if I'll have an error or not. I can only help but try, right? Let's see what happens. Oh, I knew it. So it has no length. So floats have no length. Okay, I learned that. You're learning. I'm learning. Um, guess not, huh? Hmm. Doesn't help. I thought I would be slick about this. All right, so let's do dash times eight times sixteen. Six years. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. So now the big thing we want to do is we want to just add this out. So it's going to be like four more. So it's going to be space after the word year. Right. Right here. And so the dash is going to be. Let's do nineteen. Run it again. This is ten thousand nine percent eight years once. Good clean. Let's run it again. It's one big numbers now. Let's see how it looks. Zero point zero eight nine. Twice. Yeah. So the extra credit, um, which I'm sure someone can do, um, I could try to do it, but we'd be basically that the more zeros we add, the longer we'll make this. So, uh, I mean, I could look up, let me look up. Let's look up uh, um, length flow Python. Mm. 
Okay, you can run it to a string and then... Nice, here it is. Boom. So the length of the string. It's not going to be a huge, huge... We might want to add some. I think that would be the extra credit. I mean, it would be like, what math formula would we create? You know, and that would be like times 1.10 of, you know, the length string or whatever. Like just figuring that out or like, so let's just run this real quick. I just want to. Not bad. So, if we add another zero, we're going to add another, you know, that line's going to go over, probably that's going to go over. It's not a huge deal, though. The other alternative would be like nine, and then five. Seven years, four times a year. That's a little much. Times, let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's do times the length. The number was 19 of the string of... Principle would write so that's nine. The number of dashes is probably going to be about two, two and a half. Make that a number. Let's see how she goes. Yep, the number of uh, parentheses was wrong. So it's that one. We can run that. Four and four. All right, so let's do like a million bucks. 0 0.09. Nine years, five times. Oh, no. Oh. You can't multiply sequence by non int of type float. Oh, you learn something new every day. Only an int. 
So let's do, we use a fraction. Two and a half is five halves. Can you use a fraction? Let's try it. I think it's only an integer. Who knows? It's only an integer. Yeah, I guess it makes sense because it's gotta it's gotta be a real number. Let's just do times three. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is a little bit much, but it's sort of extra credit-ish. I know that I'm probably a little bit sloppy. I come from a sort of a writing background. I definitely have a little bit of, you know, I've got some finance as well. But um, I definitely have a little bit of both. But, uh, I'm definitely not smug about my mathiness. All right, eight years, four times. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then maybe this one, this space can be, that's five. Do the number of characters, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get the same number. So let's do because ten divided by two is five. Ten divided by two, two is five. Right? So it's gonna create. Let's try that one. Let's do a small number. Thousand, nine percent, nine years, four times. Oh no! It's much better with the big numbers. So I've got to make it work with the little numbers. Yeah, I gotta make it worth the low numbers. So those dashes have to get fixed. So if it's got, this has seven numbers. Let's try it. Because, I mean, no one's going to put in, like, a hundred billion. You know, it's like, if this is going to be a consumer application or a consumer program, you know, it's going to be, like, a thousand to, like, you know, ten mil. Like, somewhere in that range. It's not going to, usually it's not going to be in the billions. Unless you're talking about some bigger application where it's going to be, um, because usually it's going to be, like, mortgages, you know, some application where, Things are in the same, like, within one standard deviation away from one another, right? The values. So that's the other thing to think about. But all right, let's check this out. So nine years, 
six times. Boom, not bad. That was good. Now let's do the big number. Right? I mean, the most is going to be like in the millions. Oh. Oh, okay, because I didn't, I didn't uh, run it. One point eight percent, eight years, six times. That's not bad, actually. It actually works. You know, I actually, I'm gonna, I would turn this in. It actually works. You know, I know I could spend a lot more time, uh, just make it perfect, um, in terms of those dashed lines and all that stuff. But I think this is very sufficient, and it manages quite an array of numbers. You know, these lines get longer. I mean, I think that. The professor Zell, or whoever's grading this, you know, um, or whoever, whoever's your, you know, whoever's the boss, whoever's the person, you know, that uh, you're turning this into, that is responsible for this application, um, or implementing it, um, the manager, or, you know, if you're the manager, like, you know, the company, or even the customer, if you, if you, you know, I think this is still decent, uh, and. Um, yeah, it was kind of fun. So there's our program. I would change, obviously change this, because this is actually going to be number 12. It's the improved version. Um, you know, I would change that. But yeah, here's, here's the program. Thank you very much.